Hey guys, how are you going? So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the JavaScript Notification API. So essentially, the Notification API allows you to display desktop-style notifications using pure JavaScript that runs in the browser. Just keep in mind that this only works in secure contexts, so basically, it's only going to work if your website supports HTTPS. But aside from that, it is very easy to do. It only requires a couple of lines of JavaScript code. So let's go inside the text editor right here and display some notifications. So there's gonna be two main steps to achieve this. The first step is gonna be um, actually asking the user for permission to show notifications. And the second step is actually showing the notifications. So uh, the whole permission bit is actually really straightforward. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna console.log notification.permission. So this dot permission property right here tells us whether or not the user has granted us permission to display notifications. So this has three possible values. We have default, we have granted, and we have denied. So essentially, default is gonna be the default value, and this basically means that the user has not said yes or no. Uh, when it is granted, it means that of course, we are allowed to display notifications, and we can. And when it is denied, it means that the user has said no, you cannot display notifications, and we can't physically do so. So, with this being said, let's save this right here and take a look at what the default value is going to be. Let's refresh the browser, and we can see right here we get default as the value. Okay, so with that being said, let's go back inside here and add a condition. So we're going to say if notification.permission is equal to granted, then in this case right here, we have permission to, of course, display a notification. So just for now, I'm going to say alert and say we have permission. Okay, cool. And then we're going to say down here, we're going to say else if and we're going to say notification.permission does not equal denied. So basically we're saying um, if the user has not said yes, but they also have not said no. In this case, we're going to actually ask them for permission. And that right there is going to be changing that value. So we're going to say notification.request permission right here. And when you call this, essentially, it's going to display the pop-up in the top left corner to say allow or deny. And once they've responded to that, we're going to say dot then. And we're going to be grabbing what they said right here as a parameter um, to, this, uh, to this function. Okay, so this right here is going to be granted, denied, um, or default. Um, most likely, I believe, uh, granted or denied. And we're going to say right here, console.log the permission. So basically, with this code right here, we're going to see the before and the after. So now saving this and then uh, refreshing, we can see, of course, we get default by default. If I say block, we get denied. So now, on refresh, we can see it just says denied and as we'll notice, the else if did not pass because, of course, it actually equals the night. So basically, we're not going to hassle them and ask them again for permission if they already said no. If they go back and they reset um, uh, their permission, so ask as the default, then reload here. And now if we press allow, it says granted. So now if I refresh, we can see that we have permission on page load. Okay, so with that being said, we are ready to actually display notifications. So let's go inside uh, the uh, text editor once again, and we're going to be creating a new function which is going to be displaying the notification. So we're going to say function show notification inside here. It's very easy to do. We're going to say const notification. So uh, making a new notification instance, okay? We're going to say new notification just like this. And then here, as your first argument, you put in your title. So for example, let's say new message from decode, okay? And then we're going to put in some options. Uh, there are many options to explore. I'll be showing you probably two of the most common. So firstly, I want to show you the body property. And this one right here, basically lets you put some body text. So for example, we can say, hey mate, how are you? 
you want to catch up soon. Okay, so obviously just emulating um, a message from me and I said, hey mate, want to catch up. Okay, cool. So now that's basically it. If I was to save this and then refresh, we'll see that this has passed. So I might actually go down here now and just replace this alert with the show notification function. I'm also going to put it down here um, in the callback for when we um, have received permission for the first time. Okay, you know what? I do need to actually go inside here um, and I'm going to put a condition. I've got to say if permission was granted, then show notification. So, bit of a uh, bit of a mistake there. So, if they did say yes to the initial request, then we're going to show notification, and we're also going to show it on page load if we can. So now, saving this and then refreshing the browser, uh, we can see right there. I hope you can see it anyway. Uh, um, uh, the uh, um, the message right here or the notification in the, in the bottom right corner. You can see it's working perfectly fine. Okay, if you can't see that, I'll add an image as an overlay. But anyway, uh, let's go back inside the editor now and take a look at the second property I want to show you, and that is going to be the icon property. So you can display icons. Um, so for example, I can say HTTPS and I can say YouTube.local on this port here. So 17479 assets and then decode.png. That is my decode logo. So let's save this and try again, and as we can see, we get the nice decode logo right there in the bottom right corner. Okay, so uh, very useful and very interesting. All right. Um, the last thing I want to show you here is going to be uh, the on-click event. So let's go back inside here now, and I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say notification dot on click is equal to a function right here. So basically, this function is going to run when you click on the notification. So uh, in this example, I'm going to say uh, window.location.href and basically, I'm going to be redirecting to Google when I click on that uh, notification. So we can say here, HTTPS Google.com. And of course, this is very flexible. You can put whatever you want inside here. Let's try again for the last time and refresh, then click on the notification. As we can see, we are redirected to google.com. And that is how to use the JavaScript notification API. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.